Oh yeah, the woods are coming alive now. I don't mean with the wildlife. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I could always keep under there. No, did you just clothesline yourself? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I did that all night. Don't you worry about it. Afternoon, one and all. Hi, I'm on another camp. I'm in uh, the Mission Woods, but... I was in back in October where that dog teethed my breakfast, my Richmond sausages. So yeah, no, I'm just going to get set up. It's actually the earliest I've ever done a wild camp. Yeah, so this is my first winter wild camp. Never ever camped in winter before, but it's good here because I can have a little fire. So uh, yeah, right, I'm going to get set up. Uh, I might take you for a little stroll around the woods before we lose the light. And I've only seen one person so far, which is good. Let's hope no little doggies come along and nick my grub again. Back in a bit. Yeah, I bought this one. Mid 2000s. I've used it a few times. Um, yeah, it's a good tent. It's a budget tent. It does the job. And I thought, no, I'll give it a go. Uh, take it out camping. Since it's winter, I didn't really fancy hammock camping. And uh, see if it if it's up to a February evening in the woods. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But like I said, it was only cheap, the Euro hike. Worst comes to the worst. I've got the tarp, and if all else fails, I've still got the motor back there, so I can, get, I can keep in the motor if I need to be. So yeah, right, let's get this thing set up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I could always keep under there. There's camp over there. Right, so tonight I'm in the Van Gogh Zenith 400 four season sleeping bag. And I've got a R4 rated sleeping mat as well. It's supposed to be self inflated. It's Van Gogh again. But it would appear that I've purchased a self-inflating mattress that doesn't self-inflate. There's been a few people around, everyone's been fine. I've had a chat with people, just you know, it's a village, so people in woods who they don't know, it's got to get noticed, of course, it is. So I just go over, have a little chat with them, you know, drop it into the conversation that you know, I'm here 
by permission. Everyone's fine. But yeah, I'm losing light. You wouldn't think so. Looking at this, it's very bright. It's not that bright in these woods at the minute. Oh, look at this little gadget I've got. That's it. Explorer. It's a little lighter. Where's the... There you go. One of them little thingies. Little plasma. <laughs> I'm going to try and light the fire with that. I've got to get the fire set up now. I've got plenty of wood. I've got loads. I'm um, having steak for dinner. Steak, sauteed potatoes, uh, mushrooms, onions, and um, tomatoes on the vine. So yeah, it's a bit of a feast. I tend to eat quite well when, when I'm in the woods. I like to. There's no need to live like a peasant. <laughs> no, need, no need to be living off rice and pre packed chicken. No need for it at all. So, yeah, I've got to get set up. Have a nice chill night. That tent's in a right off state. <laughs> I mean, look, it's up. It's up. He's got to do the job. I don't know if it's waterproof still. I'll soon find out. If that leaks, I'm under the tarp. Yeah, that don't work out. I've always got the car, so it won't. It'll be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Let's have a great night. Let's go take a look at the sleeping quarters for the night, shall we? For the time, all right, anyway. All right, I've got everything packed away that I'm not using. You can't really see it now, but obviously I've got the foil mat down. I've got the Van Gogh air mattress on top of that and then I've got the four season on top of that and I've got my cheap little pillow at the back yeah I'm good everyone just stop coming through soon only weirdos going in the woods at night after dark strange breed very strange people they are tell you what for a first winter camp this is um very mild what's it now 10th of feb and uh i'm here t-shirt i've got this old shirt on i don't even know if i'm gonna need a four season sleeping bag does this really count as a cold one no i don't think it does well we'll see how the temperature gets tonight it always begins to drop a bit in the woods doesn't it Right, I'll just check the time. It's about five to five. There's a lot more light now. It was only a couple of months ago. Half past three, four o'clock, it was dark. You know me. I prefer the warmer, lighter months. This is a real blessing, having this, this permission woodland to come on. I don't take liberties. It's only the second time. Last time was October. And, uh, you know, there's no need. I don't count that much anyway. That's why my channel's so crap. <laughs> Starting to rain. Better shut the tent up, I suppose.
So it's tucked into this steak. Oh, better do it on the fire. That um, little stove wasn't working in the cold. James just popped over to see me. He did mention about that, it probably won't work. So I stuck it on the fire, it cooked it a lot quicker. But like an idiot, I had a bag of onions and mushrooms ready chopped and I forgot to pack it with me didn't I so it's just a sauteed potatoes tomatoes on the vine and a steak anyway I'm gonna eat this back in a bit yeah the fire's burning well hey me out in February eh? who would have funk it Said a message from James. <laughs> yeah, the old uh, village jungle drums are in full swing on Facebook. <laughs> Vagrant in the woods. <laughs> I'm sure the bit about what he said about a paedophile as well, I'm sure he made that up. <laughs> I'm tempted to join the group <laughs> just, just to join in. Just to join in with the. Uh, the gossip and then just tell them like oh yeah I'm only staying I'm staying in, in the village for one night and then I'm going home oh where are you staying in the woods <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't beat a bit of vagrancy can you yeah they make me laugh vagrant indeed well they've been eating their beans on toast I've had a succulent steak tomatoes on the vine Potatoes, sauté. I've got loads of food, I've got loads of alcohol. And they're sitting there munching on their beans on toast. And they're calling me a vagrant. <laughs> yeah, the fire's going nicely now. One thing I've noticed about that wood, it's that pre-packed stuff you get from Tesco, you know, that they stack outside. Yeah, it's dry, but it doesn't last long. You stick it on and it's, uh, yeah. But I brought enough. I bought three of them. So, uh, and I bought some wood from home because I've got loads in the, ga in the uh, shed. Some smaller stuff. So, yeah, I brought that. I've got plenty. Got more than enough to keep me going for the night. I might get that roaring in a minute. But the tent still seems to be dry. So, uh, yeah. Cracking night. Vagrant. <laughs> oh, I don't. People, man, they crack me up. They really do. I've got through them. I've got one hobgob, blah, 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 blah. one hobgoblin, and one Cronenberg left after this one. Nice chill camp. The rain is just pitter pattering on the tarp. Nothing heavy. Yeah, did a bit of wood with them. Probably going to burn most of this wood. Well, I don't know. I might bring some back home. But yeah, the tent seems to be holding up, which is good. Put on the red light. That white light's a bit sharp, isn't it? You know what I mean? A bit too much. Yeah, I just um, had one of those Ginsters chicken and bacon pasties. Oh, I could absolutely live off those. So, yeah. Just chilling. Just a camp. That's all it is. It's better to be doing cartwheels or dancing around. 
We're doing a stand-up routine. <laughs> You're in the wrong place. I look like Emperor Palpatine, don't I? Rise, Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid the deflector shield will be quite operational when your friends arrive. That fire has been a moth slaughterhouse all night. <laughs> they just keep dive bombing it. And I thought pheasants were the most stupid creatures on God's earth. No, apparently it's moths. Well, as the saying goes, like a moth to the flame. Raindrops keep falling on my head. I've got a voice in my can't see. But I've got a voice. <laughs> uh, I do a good I want to break free as well. <laughs> I once got a stand innovation doing that karaoke. My mate said to this day it's the best thing he's ever seen. <laughs> uh, I want to break free. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. Did a little Uber shuffle and all that. Oh, don't. Oh. Then he choked then. Oh. It is chucking it down. Oh. Do you know what? I've had a few things I could have had. For, they would have made brilliant bloopers. And first off, right, I must have got one of those little spray olive oils. I went to spray it in the um, frying pan. But in the dark, I didn't notice it was the wrong way up. And it shot up and hit the tarp, the underside of the tarp. That was one. That would have been a good one. And then when the stove went over, that's terrible, isn't it? That is absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's better. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to do any more filming out here. What I'll do is, when I get in the tent, I'll get myself snug as a bug. I wish you all a good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite, bed bugs bite, and all that nonsense. Um, and then it'll be in the morning. I'm just gonna sit here and chill. I would like to say though, um, you've already commented on um, that short I put up, Tim, and definitely uh, we've got to arrange it this year. We've got to arrange it, mate. I'll come down to you. You can come up here. Um, yeah, we've got to have a camp or two, definitely. And Paul as well. You know, you're, we're practically on each other's doorsteps. Uh, so we got to link up sometime in the summer. We'll go for a ride, mate. We'll have a little camp out. Have a little bike packing ride. And, uh, yeah, you know Norfolk and Suffolk better than I do. So you can take me on a little tour of Suffolk. That'd be nice. There's loads of things I'd like to do. Um, I'd love to go see Ali up in Scotland. Um... I, mean, I wouldn't mind getting up there. It's a bit of a distance, though, isn't it? It's, you know, Ali, we will do it one day, mate. We will do it. Um, I will get up there. Just not when the midges are out. But, yeah, chaps, um, I love all your content. Uh, it's great, great channels, and uh, I'd love to be up with you all sometime. All right, on that note, I'm just going to sit here, tend to my fire, finish my alcohol, and... Um, yeah, then turn my sorry backside into bed. Right, I'll chat to you in a bit. Love you. Right, I'm in my pit. Well, the tent seems to be holding up the salts. There's a little bit of uh, leakage over there, but that's where the out is touching the inner, so it's not a lot, it's only a little bit. But yeah, 
it's quarter to twelve. Sorry, quarter to twelve, quarter to one. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, and uh, I'm knackered, so I shall see you all in the morning and um, a bit of brekkie and then pack away. I'm in no rush, so let's see what tomorrow brings. Night up. Good morning. Oh, it's about 20 away. Yeah, 7.42. And that was probably one of the roughest kits I've ever had. I just couldn't get comfortable. This pillar is absolutely... Gonna have to be messed. But yeah, the tent held up. Seems to uh, be dry. It's got a few wet spots, uh, but no puddles. So uh, yeah, done all right. I was creeping around. Stay away from my camp. Don't come in my camp. Oh, I'm lay here for a little bit. Let the village gossips. Gossip. Let's have a bit of chocolate. Right. I suppose I better get me um my backside up. I don't have to light the fire. I might actually. My coat and my hoodie are wet. So yeah. Might be an idea. All right, let's get up and face the peasants. How you doing, all right? Great. Hello. Good job. Are you coming to sleep? You got food? Is that what you come for? Yeah? Yeah. You definitely smell my bacon. I don't know what pack of yesterday morning. Yeah. Always encouraging, isn't it, when the first dog starts? It certainly is. Alright, will you have a lovely walk? <laughs> that would have gone. You've got to go that way. <laughs> no, it's not happening. <laughs> There's too much going on around here. Well, don't burn yourself. Go on in. No, you're alright. It's funny. It's like I sometimes wonder when it goes to the ground, what is it they're picking up? Everything and anything. Yeah, I think so too. Bit of steam coming off my coat, but that got drenched last night. Oh dear. Even that, all my coat's on fire. Florence, <laughs> come along. 
Look at the steam coming off my coat. That got drenched last night. I need to dry it off. Yeah, it really chucked it down. Everything got soaked. But yeah, it was um, it's all right. Um, I'll talk about the camping a bit. Let me just, excuse me, quick ups, just get myself sorted, get my head together. Then I'll have a little pre-pack up chat. Made a bit of a discovery this morning as well. Bit of a rookie error, really. All right, said tent, said dying tree, dead tree. And the way it's leaning, if that ever goes, that's going to go. I arrived here and set up in daylight, so that was. Um, yeah, not my best move. Have to bear that in mind for future. If that tree goes, it's got to come this way. Because it's leaning this way at the top, so it will go this way. And that would have landed straight on the tent. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh well. I live through it. I live to tell the tale. And make another mistake another day. Oh yeah, the woods are coming alive now. And I don't mean with the wildlife. <laughs> oh... That was funny, that message I got from James last night. And I think I've just seen that sausage thief dog. I'm sure it was him because uh, the other dog was with him as well. Yeah. Teeth in git. Got another dog now. No, did you just clothesline yourself? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I did that all night. Don't you worry about it. Cappuccino. I'm not really a coffee drinker. I've got some tea bags in there, but like an idiot, not only did I forget the pre-prepared sliced mushrooms and onions yesterday, I forgot the milk. But do you know what? Despite absolutely chucking it down yesterday, despite the uh, the bad night's sleep. Forgetting the mushrooms and the onions and the milk. I'm going to say this is probably the best camp I've ever had. Definitely. Definitely. Not probably. Definitely. It's just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Thought I'd go for seconds. Just chopped up some bacon. Got it all fried up with the last of the tomatoes. And uh, yeah, well, I'm going to have to start packing up. Apparently, we've we got a weather warning. It's going to rain badly. So, uh, but I want to burn the last of this wood. I oh, will see. I'll get the tent down. Well, I'm going to eat this. Back in a bit. Well, that was another thing I got for Christmas. Um, the footprint for the one tigress back was bungalow so i thought i'd break it out i brought the other tarp just in case it wasn't the right size but yeah it worked a treat with the tent so that's had its first use well i got the tent away 
kicked it all over. Can't see anything actually. Not a bad job. I wanted to get that away because apparently we're due heavy rain. So now that's done. If it starts to rain now, I could just work under the tarp. So that's the pressure off now. Let's burn the last of this wood. Might have another cup of tea. Just realised I haven't done one of my pointless rambling talks, have I? Oh well, next time. Just uh, throwing on the last of this wood now. It's nearly 12 o'clock. It's the latest I've ever camped out. So yeah, um, I'm going to burn the last of this. I'm going to have one quick cuppa and then pack up. It's been a great camp. A great, great camp. I've had a good chat with people and that. Most people are fine. It's just uh, it's a village and uh, you know what it's like with gossip. <laughs> this has been great, honestly. All right, grab this. I'm going to sit down and chill. All right, chat to you in a bit. I'll just finish up now. Um, there was one thing I did want to mention. Last year I mentioned about going to Ireland this year and we are going, it's a big family trip, going to see where my nan was from in Galway. There's quite a lot of us going and I was hoping to get a, a cheeky overnighter, but it's just logistically, it's not going to happen. I've got to obviously have my day stuff, my evening, my, my normal clothes basically. And then I've got to bring a pack for one overnighter. And I've got to pay for that on the flight. Um, logistically, it's just not going to happen. So unfortunately, um, there will be no overnight up in the Emerald Isle. I will do a bit of filming though. I'll see if I can get along that coast, that west coast, and just uh, get some shots. And it's, it's a stunning bit of scenery, so it would be remiss of me not to. So, but yeah, I do apologise. I did actually say I was going to do it, and the reality is, it's not going to happen. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Right, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I've done way more filming than I was planning on. I was planning on making this like maximum 20 minutes. By the looks of it, it's going to be another 40 minutes, but we'll see. I'll see what I can cut out. It's better to have too much footage than not enough, I suppose. So, yeah. Right, I'm not going to do the whole packing away, walking away thing. I'm literally going to call it quits here. I managed to get this far, thank you very much. Like I said, I'm not chasing the subs this year. I'm not doing it. I'm not obsessing over the YouTube, just get on with real life. And this is just a, a side piece in it really, so just enjoy it. Don't let the filming and the whole YouTube inside of things take the fun out of it. And I've had a great camp. So look, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. It's been emotional. And until next time, take care. Dug out. <laughs>